So, you guys may have read the title of today's video, and no, it's not a prank. I am actually transferring unis. For those of you who are new here, I am a sophomore of Ateneo de Manila University that just finished her first semester and should have started her second semester this January, but I guess plans have changed. So, which uni will I be transferring to? Well, it's not a local uni, but rather, I will be studying abroad. I will be transferring to the University of New South Wales in Australia, where I will be starting my first year this February 2023, and I'll still be taking up computer science. Now, okay, hold up. Why are you transferring unis? Was this the plan all along? To be honest, never in my wildest dreams did I see myself transferring to another uni. It was actually a bit spontaneous cause ever since I got accepted to Ateneo in 2021, I always thought I would be spending my whole undergrad in Ateneo and I'll just graduate there. But that does not mean I never thought about studying abroad. Ever since I was a freshman in high school, I always wanted to study abroad for uni. But then, COVID came, so during college application season, COVID was still very bad, so I had to give up my dreams to study abroad because it was not safe, which was why I just applied to my local unis and thus got accepted to Ateneo. Now, I never really thought about transferring to other unis simply because it was just a hassle to me, plus I thought it will take around 3 to 4 years for the pandemic to die down and we would still be having online classes, which is just a waste of money if you're an international student. But then my parents talked to me saying that the pandemic right now is not that bad compared to 2020 and 2021, so they will allow me to study abroad if I want to. Now, I really had to think hard whether I actually wanted to study abroad or not, since I already adjusted to the Athenian student life. I mean, I know my blockmates, I have friends, I practically know most parts of the campus, and I know some of the profs really well. Going to another uni means I have to start adjusting from scratch and leaving everything behind. It took me over a month to think whether I should apply for unis abroad or just stay in Ateneo, but ultimately, I chose to apply for unis abroad, and the biggest reason was due to my future career. Right now, I plan to be a software developer after uni unless I change my mind again and UNSW has lots of classes that can help me acquire and practice the skills needed for the tech industry. Not only that, but UNSW has partnered with a lot of companies in Australia so this gives me better chances in landing a job plus the average salary in Australia is decent enough. Now, don't get me wrong, Ateneo also has several classes that can help prepare you for the tech industry, but the state of tech industry jobs in the Philippines is not that stable at all. First, tech industry here in the Philippines is really competitive like in the US and Canada. Because of this, most people had no choice but to apply as a professor or a teacher and teach computer science courses for around four to five years and then go to graduate school just so they can have more chances of being employed and of course higher salaries. Second, the wages for these jobs are low unless you get a job in a well-known company and with the rising inflation here, the wage might not even be enough. Lastly, the stark difference between working Australia and in the Philippines is work-life balance. In Australia, there is more work-life balance with most jobs ending around, let's say, 4 to 5 p.m. and they start around 9 to 10 a.m.-ish, which compared to Philippines, most work starts at 7 or 8, maybe the latest, and they end around 6 or 7 or even as late as 8 p.m. or some people just do more overtime. For me, I do not have that much study and life balance during high school and even now in college, so I hope to at least find a job that allows me to have some work-life balance. Now, you all must be thinking if I'm excited to start this new chapter 
of my life? Well, it's kind of mixed feelings since some days I am excited but there are other days where I just feel anxious. Anxious because it's my first time to live away from home for more than two weeks. Anxious because I have to adapt to living in a new country, which means adapting to a whole new culture. Anxious because I will not be seeing my family and cats for over eight months. And the one thing that I'm most worried about are my cats. Since they are stray cats, so they don't live inside the house. So I'm scared that while I'm gone, they may get into accidents. And there's also one stray cat that I got attached to. And she always likes to visit me every day, so I'm scared that while I'm gone, she might miss me or she might not even remember me when I get back. And that means she might not even trust me that much, unlike now. And of course, once uni starts, I'm not gonna be in my cat's life that much since I am rarely physically with them. And I know that cats are independent, but... It hurts me to see that I won't be in their life that much for the next couple of years since I might be also starting my job in Australia. So I don't know but I just get emotional or like sentimental since I have taken care of these cats since they were babies and one of them just like gave birth like a day before I'm leaving and I might not even be able to physically take care of them and i guess this is how every parent feels like they won't like the feeling that they won't even be in their child's life that much the time where they actually grow up and they have to live their own life so i think that's what i'm feeling for with with these cats because i have to leave them f- to um f- do my f- undergrad studies even if they're actually adult cats right now but to me they're still like the baby cats that I took care of them they're like the five months six months so it's really hard to say goodbye to them and I'm not even sure if there's enough wi-fi signal or data signal so that I can at least have someone do like a small video call with them if ever So yeah, as the travel date gets closer, I don't know but I start to get more overwhelmed and anxious since there will be lots of things I will be leaving behind and of course a lot of change is coming whether I like it or not but as they say, life is always full of adventures so I hope to take you guys with me on this adventure. So the next videos might be some uni related videos like a pack with me and maybe a dorm move in but if it's too chaotic and maybe just a dorm tour. So yeah, just keep an eye out for that. And if you're still watching this video until now then wow, thank you and sorry if I just ramble too much. Right now I just have a lot of things on my head that I just needed to let it out but yeah. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!